So today's video, I want to share with you guys some of the best summer 2024 shoe trends and some of the best dupes that you can pick up if you didn't want to spend tons. So the first shoe trend that I really, really am enjoying are shoes with flowers, in particular roses. I think that these shoes are so, so, so pretty. However, I think you do need to be careful about shoes with flower embellishments that are more affordable because I think sometimes they can lean a bit, I don't even know if I'd describe it as costumey, but like even slightly childish, you know, if you're not careful, right? So the ones that I've been seeing the most are the Loewe Bay ones. They have the heel version and they have the boot version. And of course it's Loewe Bay, they look lovely. I've seen it on Beyonce, Dua Lipa. Every time I see them, they look really nice. So these are quite expensive. Right, the Loewe ones, I couldn't find the strappy sandal version, actually. I think maybe they've sold out or something. I know that they're a couple seasons old, so maybe they're not available anymore, but I, I can see that the boots, they're on offer at the moment for 750. I think on offer it's okay. However, I do think that this shoe is quite trendy. So it's not necessarily a shoe style that I would invest in at the moment because I don't particularly think it's a trend that's gonna last for very long. So I found some alternatives for you guys. There's these Rosalia black satin flower sandal, barely bare stiletto high heels that are from Public Desire. And I think, especially with roses or flowers on your shoes, a way to make them look a bit more expensive is to just keep it really simple. I'm not really gonna be looking for flowers around the front or up the leg or anything too, too much. I think that these do a really good job of being quite simple. And from what I can see, the flower embellishment on the back actually looks pretty decent. Of course though, I think with the more affordable versions, you are probably running a risk of the embellishments falling off. I don't know how these are attached, but I can see like maybe you're, you're knocking the back of your heel or something on one of them coming off. But if that's not too much of a concern for you, then I really enjoy these public desire ones. And if you wanted to spend a bit more money and you can't get your hands on the Loewe ones, because for whatever reason, I cannot find them anywhere, then Valentino also have a pair that are on offer at the moment. 40% off at 768 and they have them in red which I think are really really nice I mean I don't particularly love the shaping of the rolls on the back but I think it's a really nice alternative I actually think I prefer it in the black and the white because the flower on the back kind of cups the heel which I like Okay, so the next summer shoe trend that I've been enjoying are dad sandals. Now, I know dad sandals aren't particularly trendy, I would say. I think there was a time, along with the, the dad trainers, you know those really chunky Balenciaga trainers that everybody had at one point? I think that there was a time where dad sandals were quite popular, and then we all realised that actually, the comfort that a dad sandal provides is one that we quite enjoy. So I don't particularly think dad sandals are super, super trendy, especially if you are getting more of a classic style, more of like a Birkenstock style. Or in this case, I think that the Hermes Cypher sandals that I picked up, these are just super trendy at the moment. I've been seeing them everywhere. And a bonus is that they're super comfortable. They also come in larger sizes. They come in the women's section and the men's section. So if you're anything like me and you need a bigger size, then you can get any size that you need. So for these, I would recommend doing what I did, which was invest a bit more in these because I think that they're very practical. I think that although this particular style is quite trendy at the moment, I don't think there's ever going to be a time that I can foresee anyway where a dad chunkier style of sandal is going to go completely out of style so I think for this particular summer shoe I think it's worth spending more money however if you don't particularly want to or you just want to try out the style then there are quite a few dupes that I think are actually really good and look really similar to the Hermes sandal so I went shopping recently in Selfridges and I saw the Steve Madden ones so I quite like the Steve Madden ones. They are not as chunky as the Cypher sandals. So if you are looking for something, maybe that's a bit more slimline, then Steve Madden actually do have dupes of the Cypher sandal and the Oran sandal. The Hermes Orans are not necessarily my vibe. I don't know why, they, give, they kind of give auntie to me, which I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind but yeah they're not super super my vibe and I enjoy giving auntie but just not in these sandals but if you were looking for the Oran Duke 
then they also have those but i'm more drawn to the missile sandal and they do have them in a, quite a few colors and if you need up to a uk size nine then they have them up to a uk size nine and the size for sandals i believe are about 750 pounds these are only 100 which i think is quite a reasonable price point i did also notice though that they're not the heaviest but if all these things don't you know they don't really matter to you guys at the moment then i think that this is a very very good option and if you wanted to spend a little less then ego official also have a pair they're called the valerie gladiator velcro strap black slider sandal and they have them in quite a few colors they've got them in nude black khaki tan quite a few actually quite a lot actually like about 30 different colors but these are only 21 pounds guys so i think that's actually quite a good deal okay so the next shoe that is super trendy at the moment that i'm sure you guys have been seeing here and there is the alaya ballet flats in fishnet i don't actually mind them i think what i don't like about these flats is a strap across the front. I feel as though it falls at a really awkward place and maybe I'm super self-conscious about it or super aware of it because I've always had really skinny ankles and so I've always had to look for shoes with straps that come or boots that come closer to my ankle to kind of hold my foot in. So seeing the position of this strap puts me off, although I do like the meshiness. I feel like we're going through a mesh crochet trend too. So a bit of mesh, a bit of crochet, I think is really also super nice for the summer. So I quite like the shoes. And actually the girls that I've seen wearing these, it always looks cute, right? But for me, the strap is a hard no. Also, I feel like they're a bit expensive at 650 pounds. I think that these are a trendy pair of shoes. And so I think it's a good opportunity with a style like this to get a dupe <laughs> so mango actually have a very very nice dupe and actually what i would say is a prettier dupe it comes in three different colors actually on sale at the moment at 35.99 and what mango have done is move the strap which thank you we've moved the strap and we've put the strap around the ankle and I think it has revitalized the shoe and it looks much better. If they had my size, I would probably pick up a couple colors. Also, if you wanted to pick up these mango shoes and you can't find them in your size or they're unavailable, it seems like they're sold out in a few of the colors, then ASOS also have them available. So do check out ASOS. They're not on sale at ASOS, but if you need your size or anything like that, then they do have them available there. So the next shoe trend I've been enjoying, which as you guys probably know, all trends go around. It's like a circle. They go and they come and they go. So for right now, I've been seeing loads of platforms and loads of wedges. And I have always and continue to love a platform. In my opinion, every shoe is better in a platform. Yeah. If you have a flat version and you have a platform version, for me, I'm always going to take platform. So I'm very happy to see loads of different platform options and in particular i have my eye on these jimmy choo fayance shoes beautiful i love them what i like about wedge or platform shoes is that you can get a bit of comfort mixed with a bit of style i might be biased because i'm tall but even whilst being tall i feel as though adding some height to your silhouette always elevates you it always makes you look you know a, a bit more feminine a bit more expensive and so if you are someone who struggles to walk in heels or you don't always want to be wearing heels or you just don't like heels, then I say now's a good time to take advantage of a good platform. So I have this platform on my wish list. I think I'm actually going to pick them up. I usually wouldn't spend super tons of money on a pair of Jimmy Choo seasonal shoes. I'm more inclined to spend a bit more money on more classic less seasonal shoes because i know i'm going to get my crossover wear i know i'm going to you know i'm going to wear them throughout the year or often over a period of years so i'm usually more inclined to spend more money then however i just love these shoes i just love them and every time i see them i love them i prefer them in the brown color i am going away i am going away soon i'm laughing because you guys are probably sick of me and saying that but i'm going away soon and i feel like these shoes are very very easy to move from day to night and sometimes when you're out enjoying yourself you know you're at the pool you're at the beach you're out 
eating, enjoying life. Sometimes you don't always want to have to go back to the hotel or back to the Airbnb to change your shoes or change your outfit or whatever. So I feel like these might be a good shoe option for me. If I get them, I'll share it with you guys. Also though, Alaya have a pair of wedge sandals that are also chef's kiss. They are beautiful. They are called La Sculpture Mules in calfskin and wood. Guys, beautiful. My favorite iterations of a platform are always ones that are chunkier, maybe a bit more simple, not too fussy, not too, too, too many straps or anything like that, because I feel like sometimes platforms can look a bit childish, okay? <laughs> so I try to keep as simple as possible within reason with my platforms. So if you wanted a more affordable option of a shoe that has a similar vibe, then actually ASOS have a few good options. They have the ASOS Design Nata Platform Heeled Sandals. And at the moment they're sold out, but I always recommend, especially with ASOS, add things to your wish list or just heart them because they oftentimes have clothes and shoes that come in and out of stock all the time. Things are always selling out and then maybe they get a return or they'll have a few different sizes come back in stock. So I really like these Nata ones. They are simple, which I like. And then I also kind of like wooden features in, in shoes. I think that always looks nice for summer. So I really like these ones and also they have a thong pair called the ASOS Design Theme Toe Thong Platform Sandals in black and again it's kind of just a play on a thong sandal so they're fairly simple they just have a platform. I feel like these are the best ways to wear a platform and I just think they're always so chic, always so nice and so that's how I'd wear platforms. Wedges, on the other hand, I think is a good opportunity to be a bit more playful with a wedge. JW Anderson also have quite a few wedge-like shoes that have more of a playful heel. And I think that they're so pretty. And there have actually been, if I can find them, I'll put a few of them in because I, I can never catch their names. But there are quite a few content creators on Instagram that do fashion that integrate, you know, different shoes that have playful heels into their styling. And I always think it just looks so pretty. It's always a nice way to add a bit of character to your outfit and in a wedge style it definitely gives I'm grown and I'm expensive and I can dress and I'm fashionable so I think wedge styling is a good opportunity to play a bit more and with platforms I would recommend just keeping it simple even the platforms that kind of just have one strap over the front which you can actually pick up for a really good price from places like Amazon which just have like a, a platform straight across the bottom and it's just a slide. They also look really good and are always really easy to style. I hope you guys have found this video helpful and it's been able to give you some summer shoe inspo. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.